Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I finally have my hands on the OnePlus 9 Pro. So today we're going to look at that. Also, I have a short giveaway at the end of the video, so do stay in tuned. First, let's talk about the box. Now the box is the same red and black OnePlus colors with this shiny text everywhere and a Hasselblad logo. I really like how OnePlus has done the Hasselblad and OnePlus logo opening just when you open the box. Up front we have the phone which is uh, wrapped in its plastic and we'll just keep that on the side for a second. And the inside of the box is pretty similar so you have this lift up which has all the documentation etc with the never settle logo. Under that you have the charger as well as the USB type C to C cable and this time it is a 65 watt warp charger. And in this middle compartment you have a lot of documentation which I am entirely going to ignore and a case which is completely black and I appreciate that. Now let's look at the phone and I have already started using this so this is going to be a good review. Now the phone is pretty interesting and I really like the camera module. It is not too much of a bump and looking at the design on the right of the phone we have the alert slider which is a very good addition by OnePlus and it has been throughout the years. Along with that we have a power button. On the left of the phone we have the volume rocker. On the top there are some antenna bands and a microphone hole. And on the bottom we have the speaker grill, the USB type C port, microphone hole and the SIM card tray with some antenna bands again. Overall I think the design is pretty minimalistic and nothing too fancy. And we'll move on to the video once I am through setting up the phone. Till then do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified. While you are at it do like the video and share it with your friends as well. So the phone is a 6.7 inch screen with a 8.7 mm thickness and it has Gorilla Glass on the front and the back which is the Gorilla Glass 5 not the Victus. It is an IP68 dust and water resistance as well. Talking about the screen, it is an LTPO Fluid 2 AMOLED screen which is basically a 120Hz and a Quad HD Plus resolution with a peak brightness at 1300 nits. It displays 1 billion colors and it is not that curved compared to say what we had on the OnePlus 8 Pro. It is more uh, a flush between the OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus 8T which is according to me a good thing so that you do not have those accidental touches at all. Now the LTPO panel basically helps the refresh rate drop, drop from 0 to 120 Hertz and it decides that automatically. The phone feels very uh, smooth when, when you operate it but frankly I prefer to have 120 Hertz fixed to get that extremely smooth feeling. I felt that the screen was a little draggy while swiping through things. But it does not mean that the phone doesn't feel smooth. It feels really smooth but it is a smart 120Hz and not a fixed 120Hz. OnePlus should get that in the settings. As I said, you can set it to a Quad HD Plus and 120Hz together. Now OnePlus has added HyperTouch which increases the touch response rate to almost 360Hz while playing games. Normally it's at 240 and OnePlus has retained the motion graphics smoothing as well as the vibrant color effect pro from the 8 series. This is something which I like the ultra high video resolution. It really makes Instagram look better than what Android has. So good thing there. Let's move on to something uh, really interesting which is the performance. Now the performance is something which is supposed to be really good in OnePlus phones. So apart from the high refresh rate we also have a Snapdragon 888 processor which is the best processor out there currently in an Android phone. Now that's according to me. It's coupled with an 8GB or a 12GB of RAM depending upon the storage you choose. So the one which I have here is the 128GB and 8GB RAM. 
so out there you do have a lot of phones which have come which are coming out with uh, 18 gb of ram as well but i think an 8 gb or a 12 gb ram is a good size ram basically it will take care of all your applications in the background games would be easy to open up and as you can see i'm doing a small app opening up test here and it's just really fast so i don't see why you should need more ram unless you are performing really heavy tasks like video rendering and that also should be taken care of by an 8 gb or a 12 gb of ram coupled with such a high great processor talking more about the phone and the performance it runs on android 11 out of the box with oxygen os 11 which is a really good skin on android and i have been saying that all along and the high refresh rate as well as the high response rate or as oneplus calls it hyper touch really makes the entire phone experience extremely fast and smooth so oneplus has kept that in this particular phone as well and overall the phone feels really good in the hand with that textured back and i can see myself holding this for hours together while gaming etc and to throw it in there the phone also comes with a under screen fingerprint sensor though you can have a you have the face unlock option as well but it's not pretty safe in addition to that the phone also comes with a lot of software features like the game mode as well as a ram boost feature which basically clears up all the ram for using extensive tasks like maybe playing some heavy games The screen also does get pretty bright throughout the day so even if you're using it right under the sun it should be fine as i said earlier you're looking at a 1300 nits of peak brightness Finally let's talk about the cameras and let's see what that partnership with Hasselblad has got to the OnePlus cameras First let's talk about the rear cameras so we have a 48 megapixel main camera a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera a 8 megapixel telephoto camera going to 3.3x optical and 30x maximum and there is a fourth camera as well which is a 2 megapixel depth or a monochrome camera apart from this we do have a laser autofocus and on the front we have a 16 megapixel wide camera now let's see what these cameras can do and i'm very interested to see how the hasselblad color management has really come out first let's look at the different camera modes which the phone has so right from the three lenses which is a zoom lens a wide lens as well as ultra wide it also has super macro along with portrait slow motion you have a night scape you have a pro lens and you have the new tilt shift also which basically blurs out the top and bottom of your subject and only the center part is in focus and now let's look at some photos which i have taken with the cameras the first one is the normal lens so we're looking at the 48 megapixel wide camera over here and the colors are okay i do not see anything apart from the ordinary this is the 50 megapixel ultra wide camera and these lenses are really huge so we are looking at a good quality ultra wide camera here the only downside which i would say is that it only has a 0.6x zoom while we have seen 0.5x as well this is the telephoto which is at 3.3 so currently it is an at optical zoom and here the last one is at a 30x zoom i suggest that rather than zooming into the subject at 30x you rather just crop the photograph because it loses a lot of detail and this must be because of the low 8 megapixel quality or 8 megapixel strength of the telephoto lens now this is not a detailed camera comparison and i will be doing one in the future but overall the camera feels really good i wouldn't say that it is superior compared to say the OnePlus 8 Pro but the camera is pretty good and i would put it under the flagships out there i also look forward to see what OnePlus does with this partnership with Hasselblad in the future 
And now let's look at the batteries. The OnePlus 9 Pro comes with a 4500mAh battery and charges at a 65W wired charging and a 50W fast wireless charging. Now this gets the phone from 1 to 100% in 29 minutes with the wired charging and 1 to 100% in 43 minutes with the wireless charging but you do need a separate wireless charger with it. It also supports reverse wireless charging and OnePlus is doing these charging stations at various locations which is also fun. So battery life is going to be really good with this phone and I don't see any complaints so far with my usage at least. Now let's listen to the speakers. It has a dual speaker setup, a front firing which is the earpiece and a bottom firing speaker as well. And I will keep quiet so that you can hear the phone. Put the OnePlus 8 Pro against the iPhone 11 in a camera comparison. Before we get into the photo and video comparison of both the phones, let's look at the specifications. To start with, we have the OnePlus 8 Pro with a 8 megapixel telephoto lens, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, a 48 megapixel main camera, and a 5 megapixel color filter camera. For those Instagram addicts, I guess. Anyway, moving on. So the speakers get pretty loud and that gets us to the end of the video and the OnePlus 9 Pro is an overall flagship with good set of cameras, a really good screen, uh, the best processor out there in an Android phone and it also undercuts a lot of big flagships with respect to the price. So I definitely recommend this. and. You will not get disappointed if you pick this up. And now on the giveaway, I'm giving away these boat headphones. They can be used wired as well as via Bluetooth. And it has got a good playback time as well of up to almost 10 hours. And this is for all you guys who have been a part of this channel to win these headphones. All you have to do is follow bunch of tech bot on Twitter bunch of tech on Instagram, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. And before the next video, which comes on every Saturday, I will pick a winner and DM them. That's all from me. Thanks for watching.